Okay, we have here today an interesting integral from the UNSW integration B 2020. This was problem C1. We have the integral of x squared minus 1 over x to the fourth plus 1 dx. Okay, to get started with this, I don't have too many good ways to approach this. My favorite way to handle a situation like this is to multiply the numerator and denominator by 1 over x squared. What I'm trying to do here is have this when we multiply and in the numerator and denominator, we can set up a u substitution. So let's see what happens. 1 over x squared times x squared is going to give me 1 here. We'll have minus 1 over x squared. Then in the denominator, this first term is going to be just, this first term is going to be x squared. And then we're going to have plus 1 over x squared dx. Then from here, what I want to do is I just want to factor this thing. So let's just rewrite this. And the way I want to factor this, there's two ways that I could factor this, but what I want to do is write it as x plus 1 over x squared. We could do this as x minus 1 over x, but I think this way is going to work better. Now, if we just multiply this out, we get x squared plus 1 over x squared, but then with the middle terms, we're going to have a plus 2, so I can subtract 2, so I'm not changing it. Then we'll just rewrite the numerator here, and we'll have our dx. But now I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to do a u substitution. So I'm going to call this right here my u. So we'll say u is equal to x plus 1 over x. Take a derivative here, du. Derivative of x is 1. Nice. Derivative of 1 over x, this is minus 1 over x squared dx. We matched our numerator exactly. So you just notice if we factor this as x minus 1 over x, when we took this derivative, we have a plus sign here not what we want. Okay, so now we'll just go ahead with this substitution. So the whole numerator is gonna be du, and then we're gonna have this as u squared minus two, but I'm actually gonna write this as square root of two squared. And I'm setting it up like this because for an integral in this form, we just have a formula to finish this off. Okay, so we have our formula over here to the right, and what we're gonna do is solve this integral, and we can express it in terms of the inverse hyperbolic tangent. So let's just use this. Now our a value is gonna be the square root of two. So we're gonna have matching this minus one over square root of two, tanch inverse, and then our x is gonna be u over the square root of two here. So we're just gonna to need to back substitute in order to finish this thing off. I can actually get a common denominator and combine this so I can write this as x squared plus one all over x. So now we'll do our back substitution with we'll minus one. So we'll have minus one over square root of two, tanch inverse, then we'll have this thing, x squared plus one over, combine the square root of two, x plus c, erase this business, circle it, or square it, spike the pen, drop the pen, give it a check mark, and that's it. Okay, good one from UNSW 2020. Thanks everyone for watching, have a good day.